Hey everybody, thank you for watching tonight's video. Tonight's video is gonna feature a good pleasure hunt. As you know, coon season's finally in. So we got together with some of our friends, Luke Stark, Chad Showalter, and Charlie Atkins. We got together and did some pleasure hunting, and it was a really good time. There's gonna be a lot more videos like this coming up. I know you guys like the videos I've been doing with the competition dogs, and a lot of you wanna see some pleasure hunting too. So I'll be doing more of that for you guys. So I hope you look forward to it. And if you do, let me know in the comments below. And thank you for watching. Hey, you see, you've been a good while. Nice, man. Yeah. Okay. Yep, go ahead. I mean, literally, I got her like two months ago. She never really did hunt. Her. I knew so. You want to tell me what you're hunting tonight? I'm hunting, uh, I think she's under two years old. She's off a uh, Virtual Davis's Frogger and Chad Showalter's uh, lady female. Chad Showalter owns her. And I got down to where I didn't have anything to hunt. My older female's on pups and I asked Chad if I could have a, a dog to hunt and she was started. So he gave her to me a couple, maybe a couple months ago. And I just kind of singled her out now, and uh, <laughs> we've had some ups and some downs, some health issues, and she's kind of coming out of it a little bit now. She's she's a good coon career. Yeah. And we're still passion stuff along with. I probably treat 75 or 80 coons with her now. You know, she's she's treated a lot of coons. Sound like they're pretty good. Yeah, they sound good. Good job, buddy. Knock him out, John. I'm working on it. Gotta get the camera lined up. Gotta get the camera lined up. Usually six, seven hundred yards, but as you can tell, this type of hunting, like, yeah, they don't have. No. He usually doesn't hang around. He doesn't blow through the country. He just yeah, he hunts perfect. Yeah. Would you rather hunt a huge, long-winded dog <laughs> or a medium hunting dog? And a, just a dog like this that will free coon as it comes to it. Even if I lived in Kentucky, yeah. Clayton, I'd still rather have a medium hunt dog. Yeah. Think of all the missed opportunities those dogs have. Yeah. I gotta get used to this beard color, bud. <laughs> <laughs> you look 20 years younger. Yeah, you for know. sure. I'm like, look, I just did this because my granddaughter asked me to do it. Yeah. I don't care if it's white. <laughs> it was a joke. It wasn't. It wasn't to look. Well, your, your wife put on there something about the black stallion I had to say, so I couldn't yeah, resist. Yeah. <laughs> I said, maybe the black pony. Yeah. <laughs> I see. I'm driving down the road and I see these flashing lights in front of me. So we get them off the, I, I kind of like stare them off the road with my truck. And this guy jumps out and he's like, I'm a volunteer firefighter. Are you the guy called 911? I was like, yeah. He goes, there's only about 40 here. And I had put my coon light around and I hit my coon light and I shined it all across. And he's like, oh my. I'd been a hundred of them out there. Somebody had to have a gate. You said it was by Nay? Straight south of Nay, right on the Bend Road. So then this little kid, I shouldn't say little kid, smaller dude, I, I don't know how old he, he comes running down there, and uh, 
That guy's like, are these your cows? And I said, no, they are not. And he's like, they're mine, they're mine. I said, well, they're headed home. I mean, they're headed back to the barn. Yeah. He's like, but look at all of them. We had cows everywhere. Dude, I mean, barn, everywhere. You can have a day. <coughs> so I stayed there with my truck because the, the guy asked me to leave my truck in the lane with the four-ways on, and we were trying to push them back to the barn and the sheriff's, but they didn't want to get, you know, right. out and get their fancy shoes dirty. So. Right. So anyway, he had about six more friends show up. And when they showed up, I said, hey, I'm getting out of here. I got a, I got a, I got a hot date. Yeah. <laughs> so. I wish you how she's been seeing. She's cheating. Yeah, I, I know. You can tell it's like She, she used to, she used to, to da, 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 yeah. da, da, and now she kind of hushing up. And I believe it's due to it's so dry right now. It's very, very, very dry. And most of her coons, uh, I believe, are wind tree coons. Yeah. Because you ain't going to hear her run. If you hear her bark 20 times on the ground tonight, she runs something bad. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I will encourage it if she does. <laughs> she just don't do that. She's hunting for trees. Right. Let's go run ahead. Good job. Talk to him, baby. <laughs> There's other dogs I've hunted with that's got good mouths. He but grows a good mouth. Too, so. Is yeah. that my grandpa hunted like red bones? He was. <laughs> As you can tell in the video, I'm leaving everything in the good, the bad, the ugly. I think a lot of you guys will like this because I'm just showing the hunt for what it is. And that's what I like doing with these videos, so I hope you enjoy it. After we got them off that possum, we recut them and they ended up split tree. Good job, buddy. Good boy. Good Good job, Jax. Good job, man. Good job, Jax. Boy, what'd you do there, Jackson? Good job, buddy. <laughs> well, action, Jackson. She slick? It looked that way. God, her. You didn't come tree dried on it. Okay. After Jax made his last tree, we decided to take him home and put him to bed. And I got out that pup that hasn't been messed with much that I just got, and we took her along with some of the older dogs. Size. Yeah. Pretty windy, be going into the wind on this one. Yep. <laughs> you were telling me what you're hunting, Chad? Uh, hunting, uh, Gabby. Which is a stylish little whitey and our no name female and sassy which is out of frogger and our lady female okay hey treed yep sound pretty good so this is going to be a do or die right here because i think they're on a fence row or something there is a fence right over there. Yeah, it's right along the edges. Yeah. They're treated right people. before that. Here. Right before that swamp. It's loaded with cucumber trees. Is it? Yeah. Let them sit in the high cotton then. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
Good job, Will. Good job. Good job. Hey, Coots, sit right in my crotch. Good girl. 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 Ready, Boomer? Huh? Yep, I'm ready for that. Yeah. I told you she ran two in rut. Mm -hmm. These two monster bucks. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if there's a monster or not. And when I mean ran, Goat said, I haven't seen a female run a deer like that since I had lifting stock. <laughs> <laughs> Is this that female you were competition on some? Who? Gat is it Gabby? <coughs> yeah, Gabby's Grand Knight. One How old is she? Went from bringing Grand Knight two, not on purpose. Just I, I hunted like Lee Crawford and got a cast one. Hunted her. Um, one of many same with her at Autumn Oaks. Um, you know, just stuff like that. I think she's got I don't know, 14, 15 cast ones this year. And you can one a bunch. I put. Mm, I think I put about two hundred and sixty dollars on her in PKC. No. Sure she just yeah, she just did. The two older walker dogs ended up split treeing from one another. Both dogs ended up treeing a coon, and the last one we knocked out was a really big one. Yep. 
There he is. Graveyard of the dude. <laughs> 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 no, here he comes. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, let me know in the comments below or leave a like. And if you have any other requests or anything you'd like to see, just let me know. And like always, I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.